Hey everyone, this is Stan Yanitsky, Technical Marketing Engineer for Pure One, and today I'm going to show you a preview of the new VM Analytics feature in Pure One Manage. First, I want to talk about how we get these metrics. We have a tool called the VM Analytics Collector, which is super simple to set up. All you need to do is give it read-only credentials to your vCenter, which you can create specifically for the collector, and an IP address. Everything else is taken into account with our existing phone home infrastructure, so there's nothing else to set up. So once that's set up, you have the information and the topology gets populated. Here you can see we can go from VM all the way to the array and multiple steps in between where you can see the host data store volume and the disks themselves. At a high level, what we really are focusing here on is latency troubleshooting. So you can see here I've got read latency selected, but you can choose to see any of the other metrics available here. You could go change the time frame, and you could choose average or max. The goal here is to look at your entire topology and at a glance view where exactly latency is originating. So if I wanted to go and look at a host, I can click on the host and it highlights all the objects connected to it. I can then filter down to that host. And here I can sort on VM. So I'm sorting ascending here. This gives you a nice view of any VMs that weren't doing IO in the previous week. Or you could go descending where you can see the large latency VMs. If I want to further drill down, I can select the VM, highlights the path, and then filter down to that VM. Here you can see very clearly that the VM is seeing 6 millisecond and the disk is seeing the same. The host is seeing 1.5 milliseconds, the data store is around 1, and the array is doing really great. So we know for sure that this isn't an array problem. It's a great example of exactly the use case that we're trying to solve for here. Furthermore, you can select an object in the data store and graph it by clicking the checkbox, and it'll populate the information here. So if we zoom in to the area of which we have data, it'll change the topology to reflect that time period. Here we can further analyze the information that we have and gain better insights into your environment. That concludes our preview, so thanks for watching and be sure to check back later as we'll have a lot more content coming in once the feature goes live.